So, I was thinking long and hard about the triggering. What would trigger feminists? And then I thought of Tumblr. And Tumblr is notorious with made up things, including made up genders. So I thought that maybe I should go after the made up genders. Just make fun of them. That way I would trigger a shit ton of feminists. That being said, let's begin. This is the flag that belongs to someone who identify as Kura gender. What does Kura gender mean? It basically means that your gender changes during and around flashbacks. So during your flashback, you can be either a man or a woman or even some other Tumblr gender. This is for someone who is suffering from PTSD. There's also another gender called Fog gender, which is basically someone who is close to a certain gender, but cannot be pinpointed directly because of brain fog a lack of concentration or wakefulness associated with ADHD, fi fibromyalgia I can't pronounce that word, depression, and etc. Today, we're going to look at the crazy so-called gender spectrum that Tumblr has created. Now, there are categories that I like to look at because if we're going to look at every gender individually, we would end up being here for hours. So let's start with demigender, which is basically your part gender and something else. For example, you could be a half boy or a half girl or half gender fluid. The notion of being only half a gender is insane and being something else doesn't really help much. What is that other half? We may never know because apparently whatever it is, it's not a gender, which is already confusing. You can't divide gender in half or be part of a percentage. It's just insane. Then there is neurogender, which is basically your gender being determined based on your mental illness. Like stated before in the video, your mental condition may prevent you from identifying fully with one gender, or it keeps switching depending on the situation. So now your gender can be based off your mental illness. This is the sort of mental condition that feminists approve of. These sort of people should not be walking around among other human beings, let alone having their own gender and being accepted as a real thing. And this is just a beginning, as there is also anti-gender, which is basically the opposite of the gender you identify as. For example, anti-boy is basically the opposite of a boy. Now, you think the opposite of a boy would be a girl, but that is not the case. It's just anti-boy. That alone seems ridiculous because you cannot be anti-gender. That's like saying I breathe with anti-oxygen, which is the opposite of oxygen, or I eat anti-food, which is the opposite of food. It makes no sense because there is no opposite of gender. The opposite of a boy is a girl and vice versa. And finally, there is xenogender, which according to this, xenogender, coined by Bafflement in 2014, from Xeno alien plus gender is a non-binary gender identity that cannot be contained by human understanding of gender, more concerned with crafting other methods of gender categorization and hierarchy such as those relating to animals, plants, or other creatures slash things. Xeno gender isn't defined in relation to female or male, the binary genders, but other kinds of ideas that most people don't think as having to do with gender. When people talk about non-binary gender, they often find that there aren't any words for their expressiveness. This is called a lexical gap. In order to fill that lexical gap, this wiki takes up xenogender as an umbrella term for the entire category of non-binary genders that are defined by categorizations with no relation whatsoever to female or male. For example, there is a gender based on stars called astrogender. And cosmic gender, which is a gender that is so vast and complex that you're only able to process it little by little. There's also biogender, which is based off nature, such as rain and snow. Digigender, which is based off electronic softwares, which can range from viruses to text messages. 
There's also necrogender, which is a gender that existed but is dead. And finally, witch gender, which is based off witchcraft. As far as I'm concerned, gender is now becoming more of a style for some people. They need to create this whole new gender in order to feel good about themselves. They can base their gender on almost anything. Gender is now just another pair of clothing that you could just put on these days. It has become a joke. And the fact of the matter is, it's being accepted in society as if it's a normal thing. And who is the one supporting these crazy things? Of course, it's the social justice warriors. They're the ones supporting these things, and it needs to stop. Now, there's this guy who's creating these flags on DeviantArt, and perhaps maybe you could convince him to create flags of some made-up gender that you just thought up. Hell, maybe he can make a flag for me so I can place it as my new avatar. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Social justice,